Courtney and I am the owner and CEO of Mine & Yours. Mine & Yours is a luxury resale boutique. So think about a typical consignment store, but then add some luxury. Uh, we like to say it's like walking into your best friend's closet. That's the type of vibe we provide. We refer to ourselves as a brick, click, and pop store. So that means we have our brick and mortar store, our online store, and then we also do pop-ups, usually one or two a year. With COVID happening last year, that kind of wiped out our pop-up plan, and that's when I decided I really wanted a full-time second location. I first walked into this space about five years ago when it was Brooklyn, and I, I knew the owner. And right when I walked in, I was like, your space is amazing. I was the first one he took out for lunch and told me he was moving and told me that if I wanted this space, it was mine. Brooklyn was a men's store, so just lots of masculine, dark details. We yeah, took out the track lighting, painted everything white, added gold details. We decided to keep the concrete floors to give it that Soho feel um, and then add marble, gold, really bright details to kind of uh, feminine up the space. Luckily, at the same time, I found out that Bluebird was closing down and I knew they had really beautiful pieces in there. Um, so we went in and made a deal and about 30% of the fixtures in here came from Bluebird, but um, I think that it looks quite different just in the space and what else we put with it. The very first thing that I thought of when, uh, when designing the space was our bag wall. I knew I wanted to have what looked like a library of bags that went you know, almost up to the ceiling and a ladder that slid across it. That was kind of like my, my initial dream piece. But I love just the small details of how we curved the shelves to make it a little more unique. Another favorite element of mine is the molding up on the ceiling and then the TV up there. I just always wanted to have a big screen TV where we were playing Chanel or vintage runway shows. So at the first moment I kind of turned on the TV, I was like, we did it. It's hard to pick just one person that I would envision shopping at this new location. We've already seen three generations of customers coming in, it's the granddaughter, the mother, and the grandmother. So really it's anyone that cares about sustainability, likes luxury fashion, and also likes getting a good deal. I would like to say that it was a smooth sailing type of experience, but I don't think store builds or renovations ever are. Um, it was really fun to watch everything come together piece by piece, but it was definitely, you know, lots of hard work and long hours. I'm super grateful for the team and the builders and all the hard work that everyone put in, and then also how, how nice the community is and how much they welcomed us when we opened. I feel like after eight years, mine and yours is just hitting its stride. So now we're starting to get product in from all over Canada. Uh, customers can sell online. We'll be opening our Toronto location next year and hopefully many more to come.